The judges of the tournament say that being able to shoot precisely and run fast are some of the main traits of a good border guard. This is why the first tour of the championship starts with running through an obstacle course and target practice. At first glance, this looks like mixed martial arts, but it is actually hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is the second tour of the tournament. All participants are from 18 to 45 years old. The rules are no punching vital organs and no moves that can dislocate joints. Alexander has been boxing for five years. This is his first time in such a tournament and he already became the best fighter in his weight class. He's a sergeant and has been serving in the Berdyansk Border Guard Detachment for one and a half years. He says that his sports training gives him an edge when he has to detain those who cross the border illegally. Yeah, trespassers on the border. They were drunk and aggressive, tried to start a fight and entered guarded territory. We had to detain them until they were identified. Dennis is a border guard from Odessa. He is 27 and has already devoted 15 years of his life to sports. After every watch duty, he goes to the gym that was built at a mobile checkpoint. We are on the watch for 24 to 48 hours and we train for one or two days. Usually it means three to four training days a week. It is all about time. Now, as you might know, there are a lot of disturbance on the borders, so there is more work. Those who have free time go to a gym and work out. Judges say that the level of preparation of border guards this year is much higher than five years ago. So choosing the best one is hard. Every fight, every shot and every point matters. The participants are very good this year. These tournaments are necessary for the servicemen. The youngest participant is 18, the oldest is 45. We can see the difference between the participants and it is still very hard to say who's the best. 28 border guards received prizes in different categories, but the gold medal went to the National State Border Guard Academies team. Reported by Tetiana Sevokon, UATV.